So this is how my skin repays me for hydrating it, washing it morning and night. And I still have to deal with this. Been like MIA for this past week. I haven't even uploaded one video this week. But basically, today's story time is how I basically got started like modeling for Beauty Bakery and how I became one of the faces of their Cake Mix Foundation campaign. How I continued to work with them and you know do all sorts of behind the scenes stuff with them. So January, yeah I think it was like the beginning of January if not it was maybe like a couple days shy of the new year. Anubis. <laughs> All this casting call for um, models wanted in the San Diego area and it was for Beauty Bakery. So my cat just fell off my vanity. Are you okay? So I personally, when I saw this advertisement, I wasn't too familiar with the brand. So right away, I went ahead and researched them, saw what they were about, made sure that they were cruelty free before I decided to like go on this casting. Uh, so everything checked out. I ended up falling in love with the brand, what, what they represented, and they are vegan and cruelty free, which is awesome. So I went ahead and like signed up for their little casting call email that they had sent or whatever it was. Not an email, it was like an Instagram ad. And then right away, I sent it to one of my friends, Alicia, and I asked her like, hey, are you willing to go with me? Like, is this something that you're interested in? Would you be down? And she's like, yeah, of course. I want to say it was the next morning though, if I remember right. And it ended up working perfectly because both of us had the day off from work and none of us had anything better to do. So I go pick her up and we go down to Mission Valley, which is a little further down from where we live. I still have clips from that actual casting call, so I'll go ahead and insert a couple. Hey. So whatever we get there, they ended up matching us to their secret foundation at the time we had no idea what it was. So they wanted to make sure that we'd be like good matches. And right away, of course, guess who was the lightest shade? Me. <laughs> and so they matched me and then they kind of take me to this corner and they take a picture of me with like a number. I'm assuming it was a foundation number at that time. I didn't even realize what they were doing. And they were like, okay, give all your information to so-and-so, like fill out these paper, this paperwork. And yeah, and then basically like you'll hear back whether or not you were chosen. Regardless, you'll still get some kind of email to notify you. I'll be using today, I'm going to be using my Cake Mix Foundation in the shade 59. Please tell me why my phone died while I was recording this. And I literally did foundation, concealer, and powder. And whatever. Anyway, so went in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I baked everything with the Flower Setting Powder by Beauty Bakery. I get an email from the account manager and she says, congratulations, like you've been picked to be the a model for the Cake Mix Foundation. So here is the information you need, you know the dress code, you're gonna be getting your makeup professionally done, yada, yada, yada gonna be using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula to Bronze. Oh, I was so excited. Unfortunately, Alicia did not get picked, but she was totally okay with that. So the day comes, and I want to say this was towards the end of January. So I get to the Beauty Bakery headquarters. They're already shooting some of the models. Everyone's looking super cute with their makeup done. Everyone's like taking selfies. Everyone was super nice that was there. My NYX Ombre Blush, and I've been obsessed with this since I bought this. I don't know how to explain this, but very pretty. We go straight to makeup. And so while I was getting my makeup done, we were just kind of like listening to music, hanging out. It was really fun. Pictures, we got a couple videos, like boomerangs I want to say we got as well. Being there and seeing what goes behind the scenes, like how these campaigns are made. I thought that was really, really fun and interesting. Using my Gemini palette to just do a really quick look. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. We finish fairly early, like pretty much on time. And it was just a lot of fun being able to meet a lot of people in my area that are kind of trying to pursue, you know, do their own thing. Like whether it be modeling or also trying to pursue like YouTube and whatnot. So like I feel like I made a lot of really cool connections with people. 
So we kind of were just waiting for our pictures and like everything to kind of be finalized with cake mix. Like they didn't really give us an exact launch date, so we really didn't know. Finally, we got an email saying like, hey guys, like we need you guys all to come back. We're gonna be shooting something special for the cake mix launch. Again, like they said in the first thing, like we really, we were allowed to vlog. However, we weren't allowed to post much. So basically, I want to say this was like the Saturday before the foundation launched. We all get there and they kind of threw us like this really, really cute party. And by we, I mean like all the models that could make it out that participated in Cake Mix. We finally got to see like most of our pictures. I think they were already like on the website and stuff. So it was really, really cool being able to see like everything kind of come together obviously like they filmed all this previously and then the day of the foundation launch they like posted it all on instagram and stuff it's fun games and like it's really cool because like they set up prizes for us and stuff so it was a lot of fun and the day of the launch was a big deal like they were on live like i swear they were on live for like 12 hours straight they had their social media coordinator, Emma, live on like Instagram and one of the makeup artists, Face by Kayla. I'll go ahead and link them down below. They had them live on like both platforms, which is I thought was insane, like answering questions about the foundation and whatnot. So it was really, really cool being able to like see all that kind of like unravel and being able to be like, yo, like I was there, like I was part of the photo shoot. Like it was just really cool. I've always had a really strong admiration for like the behind the scenes stuff and like being able to be a part of a campaign like a big campaign like a foundation it was a lot of work like you don't really realize as a consumer how much work goes into these huge campaigns and like you know all the work that the models do and the photographers do and the behind the scenes people do so I feel like it was a really cool eye-opening experience and I feel like every time I go to Beauty Bakery's headquarter and I help them or model for them, I feel like I can always, you know, bring back something to help, like, help improve my pictures or like up my Instagram game. So like, I feel like every time I go, I always learn something new. It's so hard to get in with these, you know, makeup brands and you would think like, it's, you know, it'd be impossible if you were just an everyday person like me. Like, you know, I was literally just working at Ulta and I was like, you know, I just took a chance, which it ended up working out in my favor. And I think that's the best piece of advice I could give anyone is, what is that quote? I'd rather it be like a, oh, well, than a what if. Is that the quote? I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I could have you know, easily been like, no, I'm not going to go to this casting call because, you know, I might not get picked. But I took a chance and I was like, you know, whatever. If I get picked, I get picked. If I don't get picked, I don't get picked. So it worked in my benefit. Like, obviously, there was something about me going in with my Born to Glow highlighter palette and just highlighting a tiny bit because I look too flat. It was such an amazing experience being able to, like, say... Hi, like I've, I work for Beauty Bakery, I model for them, I'm the face of one of their foundations. If you go on their website and look at their Cake Mix foundation and click the shade 59 and you like wait a couple slides, you'll see that my face is the face for the lightest shade. So being able to like, you know, say that I've modeled for a makeup brand and I like, I truly admire what Beauty Bakery stands for. I love that they cater to, you know, darker skinned women because that's something that we don't have in the makeup industry. And I think that's really, really awful because, you know, inclusivity is very important, especially with today's day and age. I don't feel like anyone should feel excluded from feeling beautiful. So I really admire what they have going for them. I feel like nobody else has this going for them. So it was just such an amazing opportunity I would highly recommend you guys take any sort of risks that come your way because you never know when it can be your big break. And even though this wasn't like a big break, I feel like it was a really cool like bucket list I can like check off of my checklist. I kind of finished my makeup pretty quickly. I didn't really do too much. I hope this video isn't too long. But NYX Cosmetics Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abba Doobie. If you ever see any of these opportunities come your way, don't ever shy away from them because you think that you're not good enough or, 
you know, little things like that. I know it's really easy to get discouraged, especially with social media nowadays. If you ever see opportunities like that, take them. It could happen to you. You just honestly never know. Beauty Bakery has actually continued to like call me back and model for them and go back and do like arm swatches and lip swatches and little videos. So for what it's like to work behind the scenes of a cosmetics brand, like that's something that I'll never get to experience ever again, at least not that, you know, I don't know if I'll ever be able to work with brands like this. I hope I will, but it has been so much fun. Like I actually am gonna go do some arm swatches for them tomorrow. I enjoy creating content and like, I don't know, it's just like one of my passions, so yeah. This is basically it, guys. I need to do my hair real quick and I'll be back to film an extra. I was saying, I really go, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat, get ready with me slash story time. I am going to try and make it a priority to at least, at least post once a week. My schedule has been getting a little hectic. I'm also freelancing now, so I've been pretty busy like these past couple weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and make sure you follow me on Instagram. But I will go ahead and see you guys next week. Bye, guys!